Hi everyone, so this is a quick comparison between the 9BOT Max and the 9BOT E-Series e-scooters. These two scooters cannot be more different. They are almost different in every single way. So first of all, the uh, length is almost identical, even though the 9BOT Max is a lot heavier at around 42 pounds, while the E25A over here is only 31 pounds, so around 11 pounds in difference. The height is almost the same as well, although the 9BOT Max is around an inch taller. And then the um, next thing, the handlebar, is the hand Max is again uh, around 1 to 2 inch uh, wider. And then the 9BOT Max has the regular um, bike uh, handlebar with the, I mean, the same thickness as the regular bikes at 22 millimeters. The E-Series has a much thicker handlebar, so it's a lot more difficult to fit in your regular bike as uh, accessories. And then the next difference is the screen. This one has a circular screen and the 9BOT Max has a rectangular screen, but I prefer the E-Series. But this is just an opinion. The next difference is that it has a the E series has an electric brake. The uh, Nine Bot Max has a mechanical uh, front drum brakes. So you have the wire there. This one doesn't have any wire. Um, and then the next thing is that well, the accelerator is almost identical. The next thing, the stem over here is a lot thicker on the E series because that's where the battery is located, which is kind of stem heavy. And then iBot Max, of course, no battery in it, so a lot thinner. And then this is the uh, folding mechanism, the hook over here, and the one on the E series is over here, so it's slightly different. The folding mechanism is much better on the E series, in my opinion. It's a lot easier, a lot quicker to use. And then the next uh, difference is the the stem down here is a lot skinnier on the E series, but a lot thicker on the 9BOT Max, so a lot sturdier on the 9BOT Max and a lot heavier. The next difference is the tire. So the E-Series has the 9-inch dual density foam and solid tires. So it's solid, you won't get a puncture. It's uh, flat free. So if that's something you prefer, then this is a good scooter to have. The 9BOT Max has 10-inch uh, pneumatic air tire. So you have to feel in the air, check your air regularly. And also, you know, it's not puncture proof, even though it has sealant inside. Um, but you know, it's not puncture proof anyway. So keep that in mind. But it's a lot more, I mean, not a lot more. It's, it's more comfortable than the E-Series. Uh, the E-Series actually has a front suspension over here. The 9 Max doesn't have any suspension. Uh, it does help a little bit, but it's not a very good suspension. Uh, it just helps slightly. But in terms of wire quality, the Max is better, but not a lot better because the E-Series, this one is a second generation solid tire. So one of the best solid tires in the industry is dual density. It has foam in it. So a lot better than the previous ES series. Um, it's just slightly worse than that, but if it's puncture proof, so I prefer, actually I prefer the tires on the E series, but that's just my opinion. The next thing, as you can see, the board is a lot skinnier on the E series and it's a lot thicker on the 9 bot because that's where the battery is located on the 9 bot Max. Uh, it's a huge battery. It's rated at 40 miles of range for this model, the black one. The gray one is the smaller version of the 9BOT Max and it only has 25 miles of range, but still a lot. Um, the black one, a lot of people say the black one is better because it's more range and it has a built-in power brake in it so you don't have to carry on the brake. Uh, power brake, so which is a good benefit. Um, every other model you need to bring your power brake with you, uh, which is, I mean, not the worst if you have a backpack. But another thing that nobody ever mentioned is that Without the power brake, your cord is a lot shorter. With the power brake, you have a longer cord. So that's something to keep in mind as well. And then the charging location for the E-Series is actually over here. So it's a lot easier in my opinion. So I prefer the charging location. It's higher up on the ground. You don't have to bend down too much. And it's far away from uh, moisture and dirt. Um, but the 9 Pro Max is located on the right side, on the other side, and it's very um, low. So you have to bend down, it's hard to find. And especially if the seat is right under the seat, so it's hard, sometimes it could be hard to get. And it's on the right side, so you have to rotate your scooter, uh, you know, in order to get closer to the wall. This one, you don't have to worry about it because it's in the middle. And then, so this one has more ground clearance, obviously, a lot more, but I'm not sure if that's a big benefit uh, because you don't want to go over anything more than an inch anyway. And then the rear 
tire it has the rear brake over here so it has three brakes on the e-series uh, front electric brake rear electric brake and magnetic brake which is the same thing and also has the rear foot brake you can stop on it but with a seat it's more difficult to operate the uh, rear brake so in case something fail electrically then you, you still you can still use this one although overall the braking system is still better on the 9 max even though the 9 max only have two kind of brakes so the front drum brakes mechanical drum brakes and the rear electric brake but the e-series has three but anyway um the next thing you can see the board is actually narrower on the e-series it it's around six inches from here to here the nine bar max is around seven inches wide so one inch more however the board on the e25a is longer than the nine bar max the number max is slightly shorter even though it's uh, wider so just fyi because it has this huge stem over here however keep in mind the e22 actually has two inch shorter uh, board than the e45 and the e25a and then the next main difference is the motor location. So the Nipah Max is rear motor, so rear wheel drive. The E-Series has a front motor, so front wheel drive. And the E-Series is obviously front heavy because everything is in the front. The back doesn't have anything, basically, it's just the foot brake. But the Nipah Max is slightly more rear heavy. Uh, I mean, it's more balanced. Of course, the, the front is still going to be heavy, but not as heavy as the... Uh, e-series over here in terms of weight distribution and of course the battery is low at the bottom on the nipot max so lower center of gravity and this one is stem heavy because the battery motor everything is over here on the stem and on the front um, so and of course rear wheel drive on cars people said rear wheel drive is better but on scooter i'm not too sure some people still say rear wheel drive is better and then the seat is almost identical, um, but still, you know, the base, this one is narrower, so the seat still. This one, this seat only fits on the um, E-series, and that one, you know, you have to buy them separately. Um, and the cost-wise, the Nightbot Max is a lot more expensive. Uh, it's around $900 or $8 something, but you can go as high as $1,000. The gray one, the G30 LP, is slightly cheaper. This one is G30 or the G30P. The E series, you know, E twenty five A is a lot cheaper. It's around five hundred dollars or six hundred dollars. The E forty five is at around eight hundred dollars, and the E twenty two is also around five hundred dollars. So um, it depends on what you need. The range for the E series for this one is only fifteen miles, and the E forty five is twenty eight miles. So even the E forty five is still a lot lower than the nine buck max. Um, and the E45 has an external battery on the stem, so even more front heavy or stem heavy if you add the extra battery. But if E45 comes with it, you can add it on the E25A and also the E22 and also on the E series or the ES series, which is basically double your range, but would still not beat the 9 Pro Max, the black one. The gray one has 25 miles of range. E45 has 28. So anyway, um, depends on what you need. So if you have a short Camille and you worry about uh being having flat tire then i would say the e series is better than the nine bot max and of course the price as well but if you don't care about money then the nine bot max is the way to go and you, you don't worry about flat tires um so it's up to you and then um no wire on the uh, e series a lot lighter so the main pros of the e series is a lot lighter cheaper and solid tires no flat the napa max is of course ride comfort uh slightly faster um, more power and more comfort you know but more expensive and probably better build better quality um down the road and it's of course uh it has been out for years uh the e series you know is still you know pretty new but of course it has the e series which is older and then in terms of power top speed of the nine bot max is around uh 18.6 miles per hour in the US the E25A is 17 miles per hour and the E45 is 18.4 the E22 is only around 13 miles per hour so choose your model carefully although it's the extra battery uh, on the E22 it can increase the speed but the battery would fit on this as well but I'm not sure if it will increase the speed but the motor is much more powerful on the Nipot Max I mean it accelerates much 
better than the E-Series. And for Hue climbing, that's the big advantage on the 9 Pro Max. Uh, on a very steep hue that I have nearby, it can go up to 12 miles per hour, but on this E25A, it can only go 5 miles per hour. And with the E45 and the E22 with the extra battery, it can go up to 9 miles per hour. So still slower than the 9 Pro Max. 9 Pro Max is the best hue climber in this case. Um, and a lot of potential for the motor. Uh, and I have the Gen 2 motor, basically. And all the new one nowadays, I think after 2020, it has the second Gen motor, which is, people said it's better. So if the serial number start with a nine, you have a Gen 2. If you start with a six, you have a Gen 1. So that's basically uh, the comparison um, for these two scooters. So up to you to choose which one you want. So anyway, thanks for watching and have a nice day.